no stopping us now. I love that song. G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV State Youth Champ 2 show. We're out at Listerfield Lake and um, it's a reasonably ordinary day. Oh, <laughs> I you're probably right. It's quite warm, probably sun's right. shining. <laughs> uh, now, oh, yeah. serious question first, yep. because we're going to talk about Walker's Brothers Inc, right? Yeah, Walker like. Brothers Inc. They made the blue carpet this week, mate. Oh, they did. The yep. first joint, first joint invitee to the blue Fantastic. carpet. Fantastic. Well done. Now, serious question. Yep. Which brothers... It'd be funny if they weren't. <laughs> what, not brothers? <laughs> no, nah, they're brothers. <laughs> okay. I think they're brothers. Raymond and Nick. Uh, serious question. <laughs> yep. You got me thinking about all sorts of other things now. Uh, which brothers are more important to their team this season? Go. Okay. Chris and Kevin Anstey at Camberwell. Yeah. Or Walker Brothers Inc. Ooh. for Blackburn. Now we know, don't, hey, don't start sending in emails and all that kind of crap. We know that we know that Kevin and Chris are really good players. I'm just saying which pair of brothers are more important to their team yeah. this season? Jesus. Kevin and Chris or Raymond tough, and Nick? That's a tough call. I think you can't go past Kevin and Chris. Raymond and Nick are doing many, many wonderful things yeah, for Blackburn. They Nick are. Man. They are. They're doing really well, but I just think, yeah, okay. I think the Anstey boys are take the cake. Fair enough. Cranbourne 71 defeated Altona 65. Matt Orchard 21 points. Matty Walker 16 and 14 for the Cavs. Yeah. Uh, Param Singh 26 points for the Gators. Gators 31 turnovers in this game. It proved costly. First loss of the season. Yep. And uh, look, Cranbourne I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep on them. I think they can be a really good team. They'll, they'll definitely be in finals. They'll be a dangerous team when they have their full list. And, um, you know, that doesn't wholly surprise me. Can you can you give an address for people to send gifts to, for you and I? Because every time we pump up a team, yep. they lose. And every time we kick the living daylights out of a team, yep. they get up and win. Well, what's your favourite shop? We'll get, like, a register going. Well, we should do. What's, well, your, favorite, what's your favourite shop? Probably Dan Murphy's. Oh? Are you it's old? Not, it's are not you, Rivers? Are you old? Are you? It's not oh, Rivers? Come on. Hello. What about the hairdresser? Are you? The barber? Yeah, I've got a barber, you're right. Do you? Western <laughs> Is Port. it you? Not doing a good job, is he? <laughs> Western <laughs> Board 73 defeated Craigie Burn 49. The Eagles with 30 turnovers in this game. Good win for the Steelers. 30 turnovers is a lot. That's all I have to say. It is a lot. Warrandyte 72 defeated Mornington 52. 20 point win. They faced each other not that long ago. Mornington got up by a point. So good win for the Venom. Jake Ludd with 30 points in this game. Come out of nowhere. 50, uh, 50, 15 of 17 from the uh, from the charity show. Uh, 50 is great. 15 <laughs> is still pretty good. <laughs> 15 to 17 is a nice clip. Well, McKinnon 56 defeated Southern Penn 37. Yeah, well, they What's needed going that. On with Southern Penn? Oh, they're just short handed. They do have. um. We got a new bloke. Yep. Oh, his name is Danny. He's yeah, from Cranbourne. He's doing great. He's from Cranbourne, but he's helped out. Um, but they're just they're just thin at the moment. Jake Sparshop. Michael Ozakowski. Did I pronounce that right? Ozakowski. Yeah, I think you'd be pretty happy with Michael it. Michael Ozakowski. Just call him Ozzy. Ozzy, twenty and nine for the Cougars. Yeah, no, he's a beast. He's um, yeah, he's a very good player. Important. Hey, you're young enough. Why don't you go back and help out the Cougars uh, youth team every now and again? They can do with a star to look up to. Oh, that is true. Look, I could offer my services, but I do it through more mentoring programs with the youth oh. guys and um. You, know, you don't have... even know he's in the team, mate. I yeah, do. I know the boy. You, just made, with him. you just made Ozzy up out of nothing. No, I don't. We call him Ozzy. Ask him. You email him. Coburg 49 <laughs> went down to Western Port 66. So a good weekend for the Steelers. Yeah, no. Well done, mate. Well done. Comfortable victory for Co uh, the, the Wait, Steelers. We'll give him a wrap. They've won two on the weekend. The young, the young men watching this show, look to you. Give them a wrap. They've had a really good weekend. They can't be a mentor for everyone. I'm, Blackburn 92 defeated Cranbourne 47. Great win. Black, a thumping win. They're Blackburn back. over the Cavs. Yeah, that's... Thumping win. Walker Brothers Inc. Collectively, 45 points, 14 rebounds, 11 assists, and 10 triples. I just think it's important that you uh, recognise their individual efforts as well. They are people, all right? They're not a, they're not a, they're not a group. Hey, they might know. Yeah, they collectively know I mean? share. Yeah, I know, They've I both know done a they've good done. job, evenly. I know, but I think Raymond and Nick will be um, interested in you know rec being recognised as individuals as well. You're a sensitive new age guy now, are you? Yeah, that's me. Hey? That's me. 
We're in a beanie like that, mate. There's a few other names for you too. Sunbury 60 went down to Keelor 65. Yes. Okay. Well, Keelor, I think they um they're rolling along nicely at the moment. And Sunbury are not. Round <laughs> six games inside for Mornington. Craig. <laughs> you gave me nothing then. Mornington Craigie Burn. Uh, we'll go um. Mornington. Warrandyte, Cranbourne. Cranbourne coming off that big loss, by the way. Yeah, I think uh, I think Cranbourne will come, bounce back. Co and coming off a good win over Elton. Yeah, yeah. Like, weird weekend. Yeah. Coburg, Sunbury. Uh, Coburg. Sunday games. Southern Penn, Warrandyte. Warrandyte. Western Port, Keelor. Um, Keelor. Eltona, McKinnon. Eltona. Sunbury, Blackburn. Blackburn. Easy. State New Walker Brothers Inc. I mean Nick and Raymond. Oh, they're individuals, Nick man. and Come Raymond. On. State New Champ, two women. <laughs> Eltona unbeaten, Keel or winless. Yes. Okay. Alright. Warrandyte 53 went down to Hawthorne 71. Magic shot at 41% in this game. Venom had 21 more shots, so Magic well and truly uh, get the job done with a high shooting percentage. No Venom player in double digits, they need to fix that. Caitlin McCarthy, 19 and 10 for the Magic. Good no, win. Nice game for Caitlin, but obviously Warrandyte didn't heed your call. Your, your voice doesn't hold oh, no, as no, much. No, their turnovers were down. They, took, they had less turnovers than Hawthorne. Oh, look at that. It worked well for them. They lost by oh, almost 20. They didn't shoot well. Maybe it's the shooting this week we've got to talk about. Oh, we'll go and do it nah, again. No, don't, do it again. Don't, wind, don't wind me up to say it again because I've had grief from them all week, mate. <laughs> so, yeah. Whittlesey 70 defeated McKinnon 60. Courtney Newman, 21 points for the Pacers. Good game. Erin Hastings, 18 and 12. She's a great player, but well done, Whittlesey. Yeah, well, last time it was close, so um, I think Whittlesey adjusted and were able to get it. Eltona 78 defeated Craigie Byrne 58. 30 to 13 last quarter so they oh. didn't have it all their own way no. the Gators uh, the Conroy sisters uh, oh. Jenna and Lauren we've separated them there Some you go more. 33 points between them for Altona they're having a very good season yeah nice I like them they are they're from the Melton girls and they've, they've come across and they're I think they live in Ballarat don't they really yeah I think they live up that way are you yeah, know, you're probably like trying to poach them no no don't be silly Sunbury 53 defeated kill or 34 Sunbury get a win well done yeah no good on Sunbury Appreciate the reference. Naomi, uh, Naomi Stevens, 15 and 11. Uh, round six, Saturday games, Craigie Byrne, Hawthorne. Ah, uh, Hawthorne. Whittlesey, Keelor. Oh, Keelor. Get that first win. I'm re it's time. Sunday, Altona time. McKinnon. Ah, uh, Altona again. Sunbury, Hawthorne. <sighs> Hawthorne. Keelor, Warrandyte. And we will finish off with Warrandyte. Are you sure? No, I'm not though. Who are you going to go for? Seriously? No, Keelor. You're going to go Keelor? Yeah, because you haven't given them a rip. They fix up their turnovers, give them a rip. About so Keelor haven't won a game for the season. You've tipped them to get a double Over against Whittlesey and yeah. Warrandyte. Yeah, that's right. It's time. If Keelor get a double, I'll wear that green crap on your head next week. It's a ballot club, mate. Okay, whatever it is, I'll wear it next it's week. It's been handed. See you next week. Look at the stitch. You're a fool. <laughs> Ain't no stopping us now. Let us song.